Doing some chances, and, and uh, bottom line is we won the ball game. That's right. On the scoreboard, the Twins were on top when it all came to an end, and what a thrilling way for this to come to an end. Wow, what a series. I think it's going on as one of the best. I haven't seen many better, and I haven't played any, any better games than that last one myself. It was a, a gut wrencher, and, and uh, I know the fans were, were pulling this all the way, and, and I want to say thanks to them, first of all, for, for helping us out and get out there and party. Yeah, these fans here are unbelievable. Most of them still hanging around to tell you congratulations. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's fun. It's, uh, that's what it's all about, having a good time. We're proud of you. All of Bloomington's <laughs> proud of you. And the Twins, congratulations. I'm proud of the Twins. I'm proud of the Twin Cities and St. Paul and Minneapolis and the whole five-state area around here. I'm, I'm happy for everybody supporting us and, and hanging with us and, and hanging with me and keeping my dauber up. And uh, enjoy your celebration because it's a while before you play another one. <laughs> it's going to be a long time. I'm going I'm to sleep for about a week. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Congratulations. Thank Kent you. Herbeck, Randy, let's go back to you. All right, thanks very much, of course. Kent Herbeck did not do a great job in this series. I don't know if I get a minute or another, Randy. It's just two great teams, played a great series, and and, uh, and we, de we deserve to be the champ. You caught Morris today. What was that like? <laughs> it was uh, just a great game. I mean, you couldn't have asked for him to throw the ball better. It, you know, but each pitch, there was pressure on each pitch, and, you know, for him to make pitches like he did, and... Uh, it was just a super phenomenal game by a great pitcher. And I noticed the team decided to party out here with the fans and with their family. Yeah, we, we, we appreciate the fans in Minnesota and, and our families. You know, I, I know, speaking for myself, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my wife and kids. And, and, uh, I, know that, and I know that we all appreciate the fans and, and what a lift they've given us the last couple games. Atlanta certainly played a great series because this was just an outstanding series. Yeah, it just really was. It's too bad one team had to lose. You know, the Atlanta Braves are definitely not losers. They're, they're a great team, and uh, they have nothing to be, uh, you know, hang their heads about. They played a great series. We're going to show the winning run, the big uh, Gene Larkin, one of the 25 cocks on this Tom Kelly team here, and he came through in the clutch. Yeah, Gino's a, a big part of this team. You know, he's a hard worker and a big part of this team. And, and we've been picking each other up all, all year, and Gino did a great job for it. And you get yourself that ring. I mean, that's what everybody plays for, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it's just a great feeling. All right. Congratulations, Brian Harper. Brian Harper had did such a great job catching this year, batted 310 during the regular season, had himself a great World Championship Series, and also had himself a great ALCS. And last night in Game 6, they say he's got defensive problems. Boy, he gunned down a runner at a key time. So Brian Harper obviously comes through. Look at, we have the man right here, Mr. Carl Polad. Look at this. Congratulations. You've got yourself your second world championship. Well, my second, I can't believe it. I haven't even hardly believed that we had the first one. I'm just getting used to the fact. Is this, is this one any sweeter than the first one? Well, yes, I think it's sweeter. It's entirely different. Uh, uh, we had to fight all the way. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It just seemed like every day there was something new, and every day our team built more confidence. But more than that, the fan support, which I attribute a lot of our success to, because wherever you go, traveling out to all the major league cities, they say, how did you ever get that visible, uh, vociferous, loud fan support? And uh, I said, that's because we treat our fans, they're loyal to us, and we try to produce for them. I would imagine you're just about as tired as some of the teammates right now. Well, I'm really not tired. Uh, I'm numb, if you know what I mean. Uh, I still can't believe it. When, when Larkin got up to bat, uh, I said, this is it. He's going to get a hit. I know. And sure enough, pop. You've made some great investments in your lifetime, but I would imagine Jack Morris ranks right up there. Uh, I, would, I would say that's uh, one of our better ones. <laughs> Congratulations, well, Mr. We've had some losers, too, so they all bounce <laughs> off. Congratulations, Mr. Polad. You're going after your second world title, and uh, and he does have it. Carl Polak. Now, I know Richie did that one, but why don't you go do that? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Congratulations, Jack. Jack, Jack how does it feel? Got to be a dream come true. Really good <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, they've, uh, they've seen a couple games where Dad did pretty good. I threw a one-hitter uh, against Kansas City two years ago, and uh, they were there, and that was special. And to see... Dad do so well in a, in a World Series. <laughs> I think they uh, they understand that that the guy uh, loves him very much. Did you have to beg TK to stay in? I have to beg him, but I convinced him that I I could still go out there. That's a lot of pitches for you, like almost 130. Uh, were you getting stronger though as you went on? We don't play a game tomorrow. There's nothing to save it for. I got a long time to rest. Tell us about the dream come true for a guy from St. Paul that finally gets to pitch for the Twins in Game Seven. <laughs> It's going to sink in sometime in the middle of this winter, but uh, for right now, 
people of this state and in the surrounding states and the Twins fans all across the country have something to celebrate, something to be proud of, because I, I sure am proud of it, too. You really had to be fired up before the game. The crowd was on their feet just getting you pumped up and ready for it, even if you, you were anyhow. Well, yesterday's game had a lot to do with that. Uh, we were down. They, they could have taken it to us, but uh, there was one guy that played center field that refused to, to let it in there, and, and he gave me a chance. And uh, heck, it's a great, great team effort. Uh, a lot of, a lot of things happened our way. A lot of things happened their way. It was a great series. We're just so darn proud to have a, have it be our, our ring instead of theirs. Enjoy the celebration, Jack. I know it's a long time before you'll start another one, so you got some time to party. Thank you very much. And Kevin Tappany. Mike Pagliarulo.